Welcome back, Mrs. Rail. We're glad to have you at home. Now, winter sports season is underway with Coach Derek Meyer, and he told our own Jacqueline Coleman what he expects out of his wrestling team this year. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Coleman for M6. Joining me today is Coach Derek Meyer for Marysville Wrestling. So how long have you been coaching, Mr. Meyer? Uh, as far as the sport of wrestling goes, this will be my ninth year. Uh, All together, throughout my teaching career and whatnot, 12 years of coaching different oh. sports. Wow, and what are your thoughts on the upcoming season? Uh, we have to work hard. You know, we've bumped up to the Mac Blue the last couple of years, so it's been challenging season for the kids, but they get a sense of accomplishment out of it. Um, you know, you always want that good competition, that high level of competition, but you also always want the kids to feel good about themselves. All right, what are some of your goals and expectations this season? Uh, you can break those with the sport of wrestling. You can break those down into individual and team goals. Team goals, you know, we always like a sense of accomplishment, uh, Mac Blue title, um, district title. We've been to the district, uh, we've won districts four out of the last nine years. So we've been to the regional finals a couple, a couple times. We're just looking for that little extra mile to get up and over the hump. Um, individually, you know, kids always want to do good. They want to be Mac Blue champs. Um, first and foremost, as a coach, though, I think. Uh, safety of the kids and putting the team all together, uh, giving the kids a sense of pride and school spirit, a uh, sense of accomplishment. You know, we have a, uh, always like to think we instill a, a good level of discipline, a uh, hard amount of work ethic. All right. What does the season schedule look like for this year? Uh, this year, the state stepped in. The last couple of years, they're trying to shorten the winter seasons a little bit. So we, we have lost a week of practice time, um, which happened last year and the year before, but uh, the winter season is such a grueling season. What, what that was able to do competition-wise is we had to cut out a Saturday tournament and um, a weekday duel. So we're down to 14 dates of levels of competition. Okay, and what are some past accomplishments that the team has achieved? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, to team-wise, you know, we have not had any major injuries, you know, thank goodness, throughout the last 10 years. Uh, team-wise, we have four district titles. We have um, four Mac Blue titles in the last nine years. Individually, we've sent, um, every year I've coached, we've had kids move on in the individual tournament to states. And we've had five state placers in the last nine years. So um, two, two kids, just to show you the work ethic of our program, two kids from past seasons have gone on and wrestled college-wise. Actually, one of them just graduated last year from Olivet. He was a uh, team captain his last year. So That must make you proud to be a coach, huh? Uh, oh, it is. <laughs> you know, I like to think we um, relay the skills. Um, we help. Uh, the student athletes fine tune their skills to move on in life. You know, competition's always good, but hopefully, you're, the kids are working towards a sense of pride and work work ethic, something they can use later on in life. When does pre say when does preseason training start? Uh, preseason conditioning actually starts today, Monday, um, the seventh. Uh, we do two weeks of running. Week. Two weeks before your season starts, the MHSA has what they call a dead period, and you can't do anything sport-specific, sport-related. All you can do is condition, but um, I, we'll see uh, what kind of turnout we have, how many kids we got there. Uh, we like to get or instill at least start a, con a conditioning regime before they step into the practice room. That way we can concentrate more on technique and motivation and lay back a little bit in the conditioning department. Do you think there will be a lot of returning wrestlers? I, th I think so. You know, we, we've had a large squad the last couple of years. Um, you know, we had four graduate on this year. So um, out, of, out of a squad of 30, we, we should get probably 15 to 18 back minus the graduates. And what's the outlook for new wrestlers? Uh, outlook, there's always room for improvement. There's always holes in the lineup. I being a team sport, first and foremost out of the school, I like the team competition, team aspect. Out of the 14 weight classes, I don't like sending out voids or a free six points for the other side. How do students join the team? 
Uh, they just come on out, you know, like I said, the next two weeks, but the conditioning are voluntary. However, after that, November 21st is when we start mandatory practice. All right, and what's cutting weight in alpha? Uh, cutting weight, uh, the state kind of frowns upon, uh, frowns upon that. So what they do is they have a policy called alpha weigh-in where the, we have a medical trainer come in making sure our student athletes are hydrated and then they weigh them and pinch their skin. <laughs> uh, to see what their measurements are and stuff. And uh, all those numbers are sent into the state computer wise. And the next day, what happens, the state will send you uh, kind of like a spreadsheet back on the kids as far as what weight class they can wrestle in between. And the purpose of that is so you don't have anybody putting themselves in danger, harming themselves, you know, trying to cut or shed, you know, 10 pounds mm -hmm. in four or five days' time. You always have the extreme cases, but the state has, has uh, safety-wise said, well, we're gonna put, cut that to a minimum. Um, with that being said, once those numbers are sent off to the state, the, uh, the kids are locked into weight classes that they, that they can wrestle, and then of their total body weight, they can only lose one and a half percent per week after the alpha numbers are done. Okay, and what are the different weight classes? Uh, we have 14 of them, uh, 103, 112, 119, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 52, <laughs> 60, 71, 89, 215, and then heavyweight is capped at 285. So there's 14 different weight classes. The National Federation has adopted new weight classes this year, but the state of Michigan has not taken those changes. So uh, what, what we pretty much have had the past 15, 20 years is where we're staying. Okay, and is there a difference between different levels of competition and the weight classes? What you do, um, a lot of your Saturday tournaments, unless you schedule individually, are, are f up for varsity. And then there's a lot more, it's a lot more common to have JV tournaments, team or individual. Um, dur during the week with our, with our duels, most of those are league competition. And what you do, you have the varsity kids wrestle up your 103 versus their 103. And then um, when the varsity competition is over, the, the rest of the team, the JV kids, they, you match them up the best you can so that they can get a match or two and start preparing. Okay, and what do you do at training? Uh, a lo <laughs> lot of practice, you know, repetition is the key to retention. So uh, the, their body, the student athletes' bodies have to get used to it. For some of them, they haven't been wrestling very long, which I, I don't believe in specialization, but um, we're now starting to have kids come up that have had wrestling for a few more years rather than junior high, and the success shows. Um, you know, typical practice day, we'll get in there and we'll stretch, uh, get the legs going, so, you know, a couple minute run, and then we'll do calisthenics. Then we go to structure drilling, which is where they're practicing their moves, and then new technique, and then wrestle time, more drilling, and then conditioning. Well, that's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they work hard, but you know what? I, I think it pays off in the end for them. And, you know, uh, spirit-wise, the, the kids are feeling good as far as a simple sense of accomplishment and being part of a team. Are there any wrestling programs for younger kids? Uh, there are. Uh, a few years ago, uh, junior high wrestling was started, which they're in the St. Clair County League. Um, so they're limited and they do uh, eight, I think it's eight duels and then a Saturday tournament uh, with the Port Huron schools closing last year with Central closing. They've lost a couple weigh-in dates. And then uh, through the elementary, we do the My Way program. We, we usually get 25 to 30 kids in there. And those kids finally did last year a state tournament. And we had some of the high schoolers, that's after our season, so they were allowed to come back. and. We had two state placers in that realm with the elementary slash my way wrestling and then varsity wrestling, you know, as we stated earlier, you know, we had a wrestler earn eighth place in the state last year. Okay, and is there any off-season wrestling in the area? Uh, we do open mats, which is the open gym concept. Uh, we're limited as to what we can do to that. And then in the summer, we have more open, open gym time and uh, Sunday nights we wrestle in, in a MAC league. Sundays during the summer we wrestle on Sunday nights, go around um, just to keep the keep the body in tune and, and show the kids 
how much they need to learn and keep them in condition. All right. Well, thanks for coming in today, oh, Coach Oh, not Larry. a problem. Stay tuned for more after this. We certainly wish our wrestling team great success this season. That's all we have for you today on Student Connections. But be sure to join us again next week when we continue to meet our leaders in the Blue Water area. I'm Jim Sturtridge for M6, your hometown station.